When you open rhinoceros like this, and try to start a new rhino file, you will probably see this splash screen pop up. This is where you select a template file, which is what I'm doing right now. I'll now explain what you need to be careful about with these files. First, let's talk about units. The units you will be using, like centimeters, feet, or inches, are listed here. Please make sure to select one. You will also see options like large object CM. And there's another one, small object CM. So you might be wondering, which one should I use? First, let's look at large object CM. This window will vanish if I move me cursor, so I'll leave it be. See the yellow box on the right? It shows the units, the absolute tolerance, and the display format. The unit is CM as it says, but the next part, absolute tolerance, is what's really important. So what is this absolute tolerance? Right now, it's set to 0.01. That means 0.01 centimeters. For example, where objects are touching each other. When you try to join them, if the gap is less than 0.01 centimeter, the program will basically consider them joined. See, it's a manner of precision. Now, let's look at small object CM template. There's an extra zero, making it a 0.001. So, it has to be closer for the program to see CMS join. This setting has higher precision. The smaller the number, like 0.001, the higher the precision will be. So, you might think finer is better and tend to choose a more precise setting but it depends on what you're making and how much precision you need. So please choose a template that matches your needs. The higher the tolerance, or rather, the smaller the number, the larger the data becomes. This makes your file much heavier. It will also become harder to edit and handle. You don't really need that precision. But if you're using 0.001 and the hole appears, it can 